What's up, y'all? Rich Steve in the building. Brain cell. What's your name, man? Eskimo Joe. <laughs> Eskimo. Eskimo Joe. Yo, this is the man, the myth, the legend. The lap lizard is in the area. In the area. I figured if we're going to be doing another one of these reaction, Johns, who better to get a reaction from? Eskimo Joe. Right hey. All rocking the Flyers, Johns, tonight. Big win against the AKA Blue Jackets. AKA Ralph Williams. 3-2. Anyway, we got tonight another Ritz track. If you've seen the last video that we did together without Eskimo Joe over here, we were watching a track that was Ritz, Yellow Wolf, and Twista. Right. Shit was fire. Like, fire. absolute Ooh. fire. Oh, yes. So, if that's the, the energy that Ritz is coming with on this project... I gotta see more, man. I think you know what from the name of this Twin Lakes. Okay. I think this might be something <clears throat> more chill, and not some some crazy ass rap. I'm just I'm just looking at the the screen grab that we have up right that now. Too. Twin Lakes Recovery Center. I'm getting the same kind of okay. vibe. I mean, I really it's gonna like. Be, it's gonna be a storytelling <clears throat> recovery center. He's that, gonna be talking about some drugs. That song, uh, Misery Loves Company. That's like one of my fucking favorites, you know. A so movie, movie called Miserable too. You know, yeah. I, I I gotta get real deep for a second with Ritz, man. Like that was White like Jesus. some of my favorite shit to listen to when I was in active addiction, man. Like I wanted to listen to that when I was going to pick up. It got me fucking hype and shit. So now we're seeing Twin Lakes Recovery Center. I want to see what this is about. I'm excited. I don't know about you guys. I don't know, man. It's hard for me to get a word in edgewise. You know okay. what I mean? You get a lot of words. You, rap, you start rap, rapping <laughs> and, and talking. I, don't, I can't get. I, I can't talk. You it's hard. Me. Yeah. yeah, it's hard. I wanted to say one thing. Yeah. You know what yeah. I forgot to do in the last video? I met Ritz, and I have a picture with him. Oh shit! That just came up on my like <clears throat> time hop thing. Throw that in. From like, yeah, I'm gonna throw that in. This is me and Ritz. Check this shit out. Fucking dope, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Let's do that, baby. We're getting ah. into it. No muff is too tough. No muff is too tough. Give me head till I'm dead. There we go. The year of the 69. My sentiments, exactly. <laughs> All right, let's hit it. Get the volume right. Yeah, this is going to be a story. This is going to be some sad shit. He's still gonna be chopping though, you know, Rich. That's how we do. He don't know nothing else. Open my eyes up. He's got a good singing voice too. He said, "Is that you?" <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, I don't got that much hair. Uh, what do I know? Art. Right. I'm 78 years old, old, folks. You know, give me some slots. <laughs> Sleeping in the bed is the mother, I don't recognize him. Oh, yeah, it's like a yellow wolf vibe. I'm in the room to check on me, and baby shed light. Tell me where I am. A lizard too long for this room size bed. I said I need rest. I'm fine. It's gonna be a long time. She'd be my nurse. She could be he my said, nurse any day. I need a yard of her he shed said, just to see where it came from. He said, my limbs are too long for this twin-size bed. It's going to be a long 30 days. Ah. Fucking hitting, bro. Steve, that, that's that his heart, right? It's fucking deep, bro. I, yeah, mm. feels. Uh. Yeah. Too long for this twin-size bed. Woo. He said, I need rest. I'm taking my meds. Take your meds. Sorry. This is um. <clears throat> do you remember that track? Wow. That that we did. It was a feature with me on one of I your projects. I do remember exactly what you're talking. It was called Days Like This. Days Like This. That's the exact mindset that I was in when I wrote that. Man. Check this. Uh, check it out on the uh, the links in the description on the Bandcamp. Mm -hmm. Hit the Bandcamp. Exactly, man. I wrote that shit. I wrote that shit in Detox, and it's the yeah. same fucking vibe as this. Like I'm feeling this hard, man. <laughs> I 
have one for you oh. called Needle. Ooh. I showed it to you. Said, that was nice. She said, I'm feeling it hard. <laughs> Feel that needle, bro? That's what you call it, right? <laughs> needle dick or some shit? <laughs> needle dick the, the bug, bug fucker. fucker. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cool. Are you liking this song? What do you or... think of this song so far, man? So far, um, I'm into it. Can you hear the lyrics, or are you just fucking with the whole vibe? The vibe overall? Just in the vibe yeah. yeah, I got you. It, it's hard to pick up on Ritz's lyrics, man. Definitely. Gotta, He's got gotta, that swag. Yeah, you gotta be mm -hmm. in a, yeah, I can. a listener of Ritz to fully understand. And if I do hear, I hear wrong. I hear, I don't hear this. What just speak. fill in your own own words, you know it's what I'm saying? the magic of it, bro. <laughs> I, got a bunch of it, I can do some fill in. It's all about the da -da -da -da, the chopping. Yeah. So that's that's one thing that I I do like what he said there that I was powerless all along, like that's one of those big things that they drill into your head in rehab. So the fact that he's like talking about that, sharing that experience, like this is real. This is as real as this shit gets, man. I don't agree with that. Like you're not powerless. You're the only one who can stop your shit. Real talk. If you're out there and you got problems, man, you can do this. You don't need fucking AA. You don't need these fucking people to tell you what to do. You can do it. You're the only All one stopping you. All you need is the you. right attitude, baby. Big attitude, facts, man. very important attitude adjustment. <laughs> but that being said, what he's talking about right now is real as fuck. Social man. commentary. Like he could be talking about riding in the Caprices, exactly. box Chevy. All that shit, but he's talking some real shit for the streets right now. That's man. the thing that I always liked about Ritz <clears throat> with, like, his drug songs, too, is that he was never glorifying it. He was always talking about how real it was. He's talking Facts. about hiding in his mom's house, like, with the curtains closed and, like, tweaking out, thinking he's going to die and shit. Like, yeah. that's what it's really about. Ritz is a real ass, too. Anything he says is real, dude. No matter if it's about the drug shit exactly. or, like, exactly. relationships exactly. or anything, man. Like, he's a real ass, too, man. And, and when I met I him... I say is real, too. I got news <laughs> for you people. <laughs> yeah. When you met him, what was he like? He was... He was... A chill ass dude, man. He was super positive. Hell like, yeah. I didn't. He didn't make me feel like I was like bothering him That's to like get up. his autograph and a That's picture and everything. You know what I mean, he was like super hyped to just like meet us because this was like a while ago before he like blew, blew up. up dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, do you remember what tour it was at? <sighs> Yellow Wolf was there. Wow. It was Ritz Yellow Wolf, and I remember I was there with my lady at the time, and me and my lady were like a couple of the oldest people in the building like it was awful like 16 year old white hipsters yeah and like i was like yo this scene's kind of whack but the, like the, the music i love the music you know what i mean remember when we saw him open for twisted at the factory yeah that was fire too ritz is always fire man. always fire all right let's get this going again it's a good opener man like, to get people going yeah man. dude and then twist high five <laughs> See, he's saying that he's ready for it. Like, you have to be ready, mm -hmm. and no one's going to change yourself you have to for have you. It ready up here. Exactly. exactly. And the Twin Lakes, he was saying that's the name of the rehab. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a rehab. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I think it does. about it. Uh, 6 a.m. Where is it at, Twin Lakes? It sounds like South Carolina or something. Sounds like it. Oh, I'll look it up later. That 
that's that's another thing too, man. Like that shit's as real as fuck. Like especially now, like a lot of people have this like mo- this picture in their mind when they hear rehab and shit. You know, you think about like a bunch of old drunk dudes and shit like that. But like rehab now is like fucking a college dorm because everybody's on fucking opiates. So it's all people that are like our you're age still and getting the dr- You're still getting the drugs in the rehab. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that or everyone he was saying on I was everybody who's there is on Four opiates. opiates. Four yeah. opiates. How he was saying younger kids laughing like it's a joke and shit. Yeah. Because that's what they do. These kids who are 18, 19, they're doing perks and shit. And then they start doing dope. They're in there and they think it's a fucking game. Like, yeah, dude, I'm here with all these hot bitches. You know, like, I'm I'm getting my suboxin, so I'm still getting high during the day. And then I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to go get high again. Like, that's the way they look at it. It's like a fucking fashion show and shit. <laughs> He's talking that attitude that I had my last time. That yo, he ain't amused, man. I ain't amused, man. This is real life shit. He like, wants to fucking change. This is I mean, fucking... That's the difference between someone that, like, actually does recover. Exactly. And someone who doesn't. I'm fucking with this song hard, man. I remember that they sent me to an outpatient, uh, John, for failing three piss tests for weed when I was on probation when I was a juvenile. And I went in there and we're having like the group thing and whatever. Yeah. And like, there's like everyone in there is my age and shit. And I took like one of those sixty dollar drinks. Yeah. So I was like, yo, they're gonna piss test me and if I fail a fourth one in a row, mm-hmm. I'm in some big shit. Mm-hmm. And I stopped smoking too, but I had such a high tolerance. Yeah. That it took three months for it to come down. Mm. So like, um, I go there and like all these like these young like sixteen and seventeen year old girls are saying that they like suck dick for like mm-hmm. a couple of footballs, mm-hmm. a couple zannies, you know what I mean? Like all this crazy shit. And then it comes to my turn to say what I'm there for, and I say, I failed a couple piss tests on probation for weed, and I just felt like the biggest fucking piece vagina. of shit, dude. Yeah, dude. Like, like everyone else is in there on some like crazy shit. I'm like, yo, what am I doing here? Bro, mm-hmm. I've heard, I've seen too many times, man, like, people who get sent to these rehabs and shit by, like, their parents and stuff <coughs> or smoking weed. Then they get in there and they see all of this other people and the kids like that telling their stories about how great it is. They're like, yo, these are my fucking people. Like, can't be that bad. They get out and they fucking start on heroin. They make friends with them and then they start doing their drugs. Exactly, yeah. dude. That's the way it works. Harsh, bro. Let's finish this. Yeah, yeah. Ones, fuck. <laughs> Talk that sap and shit. Rich sir, should should sap more, like sing rap sapping. That is fucking. That was crazy. <laughs> Did you ever check out his cooking channel shit that I told you about? No, you I forgot do it, about you that, dude. It. Everyone go check out Riz's cooking shit. <clears throat> this shit's gonna, just going to vibe out. There might be some crazy visuals, though. Yeah. Oh. It started with day one, and now it's home. Oh. 30 days. And now he's, now he's fucking, is it going to be fucking the, it's gonna be Ritz the real gonna be Ritz Johnny. now? What's he going to do? Oh, uh, he's still both. Schizo. He got that one song, Schizo, too, too, doesn't he? Or is that, uh, Jaron Benton? They might both have Schizo. Oh, Look babe. at that, man. Epic never video. Too late. Ooh. Big facts. Never too late, man. It's never too late. Clientele records. It's too late for me. I gotta go to bed. All right. Hey, 
Ciao. Ciao. Be easy. Wow. That was heavy. That was heavy. That was uh not was I was not what I was expecting. It was kind of what I was expecting, but more way more deep dive. Yeah, not what I was expecting. Like I, I, I don't know. I mean I saw the, the screen grab and I thought maybe that's what we we're talking about, but I didn't think he was gonna go raw like that, like as real Man. as he did. Yeah, that was that was a mind blower right yeah. there. Fucking probably Ritz. my favorite Rich track right now. Like, Never fucking ceases to fucking amaze. He's coming fucking back with a vengeance right yeah, now, dude. dude. Especially if he was kind of like he kind of fell off. If for he's a couple doing this years sobriety now. thing. Maybe that's why he fell he's off. He's sober now. Now he's fucking in fucking. Yeah, I'm a fucking. Go get him, Moon. That being um, said, it's never too mode. late. Any of you, you know, reach out to us. Reach out to me. I've gone through it five years off of dope right now, man. Like <coughs> you can do it. It's never too late. That being Just said, fucking do it. That Don't being be said, Rich Steve, Brian, C Mass in this bitch. Be sure to click like, click subscribe, share, comment. Tell us about the video. What did you think of it? Were you expecting that? Do you have any experiences you want to share? We appreciate all of it, man. We'll One more soon. thing, we got uh, our first official fucking album coming soon, baby. What's it called? Eclipse of Winter. This is coming January 2020. You've seen all of the mixtapes. You've heard everything we got on here. You go on Spotify right now. This you that look us official. Up. You look us up right now. We got two singles up there. Two and we're going baby. to have this album up there early January. Much love, everybody. Be sure to click subscribe. We'll Peep talk the to you links soon. below. Peace. Peace.